A bit of an example of our new ballot tabulation system. We're switching from an old optical scan system to a digital scan system. So for the voters, most things won't change. You're still going to vote. We're still going to verify your ballots. We're still going to check your signature. What's a little bit different is how we're going to scan. We're not going to be using our old um, optical scan equipment. We're going to use our digital scan equipment. The ballots will come in, they'll be verified, processed out on our ballot floor, and then we're going to go ahead and have them in batches here. These ballots have been verified and are, are ready to be scanned, and so we're going to bring them over here to our new scanners and show you how our new scanners are going to work. This is our new scanning software here. Every ballot batch is going to come with a, a target header card. We're going to scan that first. I've already scanned it on this one, so I'm going to skip that step. And then we're going to take the ballots as they come in. The ballots will be loaded on this scanning equipment here, and we simply just push scan. And as quick as that, your ballots are being scanned and an image is being taken. We're going to process these ballots and produce results at 8 o'clock on election night. Okay, so the ballots have been scanned on the scanners. Once they've been scanned, we're going to do what's called an adjudication process. In the past, if a ballot had an issue with it, we would have had to physically remake that ballot. But with this new system, we have vote visualization where we can actually correct errors right on a screen. So a good example is here's a race where a candidate or a voter voted for a particular candidate but there's a small hesitation mark where there's a clear vote and there's a, a light mark. Now our system in the past um, would you have to physically duplicate that. With this system I can electronically adjudicate, tell the system not to count that stray mark as a vote. And this process is visible to the public through our dual monitor system. So uh, this monitor shows everything that's going on in this monitor. So anybody from the public can see the rulings that we are making on the ballots based on the voter intent rules. So this saves us time and effort and money of having to physically duplicate ballots because we can do this entire process electronically and the original is always captured with the uh, modifications logged so anybody can review them. And that's how we're going to save time and uh, money and effort with our election process.